We honor you, God, for who you are. And we adore your name on today. I just want to welcome everyone to Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries located in Mount Vernon, New York. It's a ministry empowering minds for success in the kingdom of God. I'm Apostle Dr. Faith Walters, uh, Senior Pastor. And I am so glad that you took the time out of your schedule to join in to this broadcast on today. And we pray that this uh, service will be a blessing to you. And we also pray that you will share these uh, services with your loved one and uh, pray that God will do a work in their lives as well. Again, welcome. If wherever you're listening to us today, we thank you. And we pray that God would continue to bless your life and be encouraged today. Praise the name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. So we're just excited about what he's doing. We just thank God for, for all that he's done for us. And I am so grateful to be here. I'm just so glad I am obedient to the work of the Lord. I mean, it's what God is doing. And you know, if we are the church, we carry the church inside of us. The Holy Spirit of God. And you all come to the building, we bring the church to you. Hallelujah. That's the name of Jesus. We got to understand. We walk with the church every day. A lot of people believe that going to a church building is it. But you walk with the church in your spirit every day. And the Lord desires us to bring our churches. We come to a building. The Lord requires us as we come to the building to assemble our churches in our hearts together and worship the name of Jesus. Worship the King of Kings and worship the Lord of Lords. So we enter into his presence. We enter into his presence with praise, with glory and honor. Because indeed, God is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down, he is the same. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So I am just so grateful to the Lord today to be here with you. Praise the name of Jesus. And to celebrate the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless God. Thank God for the people in the community. I'm here back at Howe Park. Praise God. How Park. How Park. How Park. Whatever part they want to call it. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. But I am glad I'm here just to celebrate my life. Amen. She back. And just to thank the Lord yes, for all that yes, he has done. Because Amen. indeed, he is wonderful. Indeed, he is gracious. Indeed, he is kind. Indeed, he is loving. Forgive. Yes. Yes, he's a forgiving God as well. Hallelujah. He keeps and he saves and he satisfies. Praise God. So I am glad that we are here, you know, in this fashion, you know, because Jesus, what he went about, he went about teaching the word of God. He went about uh, 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 um, encouraging people to understand who Jesus is. He went about, you know, his purpose and his plan was to teach the word and to be about his father's business and to make sure people understand that they got to be born again. Make sure people understand there is a hope of eternal life, Holy Spirit of God. Jesus knows his purpose. He knows his plan. He knows that he had to be born of a Virgin Mary. He knew he had to, to, to uh, grow up. He knew he had to die. Yes. Holy Spirit of God. Yes. You know, it's, 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 it's such a thing when in, in John 3.16, it says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. And whosoever believeth on him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. You know? And, and, and so when you think about how God allowed his only son to die, to come to a, a sinful world, because you know, sin began through Adam and Eve, and if they had not taken that fruit, you see what it is about disobedience. When you disobey God, you 
disobey him, disobey what he told you to do. Yes. You know, this is something he does not appreciate. He likes when you listen, pay attention, and follow through. Just like with a parent. When a parent tells a child to do something and they don't do it, you know? And that, that, their consequences for not following through. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know, so if Adam and Eve had just listened to God, and it's so funny how when you think about it, they had no worry in the world. Yes, yes. Pastor. They didn't have to worry about nothing because it, it, when you read the scripture in, in Genesis, it says that God came to commune with them yes. in the evening. Yes. At the cool of the day, God came and sat with them. And he encouraged them and filled them up. He fed them. Yes, the Holy Spirit of God. Day. He fed them. Yes. Ah, hallelujah. He talked to them. He, he sat with them. Yes. You know, whatever concerns they had, he listened to them. Just like a father listens to his children speaking. So they didn't have a care in the world. They didn't have a worry. They didn't have anything to concern themselves about. Yes. Holy Spirit of God. But then you will understand hey. that everything sometimes uh, that is good, yes. Holy Spirit of God, something got to come in uh. to cause ruckus, cause change, cause a shift Preach, oh the man. spirit of God so here we have the the serpent yes oh hallelujah he came in he was sitting there he you see what happened he caused a division yes between the man and the woman he allowed the woman to be over there yes away from her husband oh holy spirit of God because you know the husband is the covering for the wife yes holy spirit yes, of man. God so no, say that here again. it is say that again. here it is the husband is the covering for the wife Yes. You know, yes. so for some reason, she got herself caught up someplace else and got distracted. Oh, Holy yes. Spirit of God. So here comes that serpent. Here comes that snake. Yes. And you know, snakes, you can't trust them. Because if, ah, if you're not careful, people be talking about, oh, that one don't sting and that one. It don't make no difference when you bite or don't bite. You're still a snake. You're a snake. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so you slimy. So you can still be there, but you slimy. Okay. So it's. It, at this point, the snake had legs for some reason. Uh -huh. no, no, they, 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 he had they, legs. He had legs. Yeah, he okay? And here he come with his little serpent self. Got himself in a corner. I'm going to say a corner. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Not a yeah. corner. Yeah. A corner yeah. of the tree waiting, waiting to, to do damage, waiting to, to cause an eruption to shift the very nature of what God put forth. You know, every time you think about it, when God uh, 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 gives you something and, and, and everything is going well, you know, all of a sudden something shifts. Yes. And what, what could cause a shift is jealousy. People you trust. Preach. People that, 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 that you were moving about all the time, all of, all of a sudden now, you're surprised and, oh my God, it come and put a cut to it and I can't make things different. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, so everything that's good, somebody always got it. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you prospering because somehow you're doing a little bit better than them. Yes. So because you're doing a little bit better than them, they don't want to see you push forward. They don't want to see things great happen in your life. Yes. You know? So it's the same here with the serpent. The serpent didn't like what was going on. But understand, too, that God knew everything that was going to happen. Oh, yes. He already knew the change. He already knew everything that was going to take place. Because everything is happened in timing. As Ecclesiastes says, Solomon says, there's a time and a place for everything. Yes. So the way God created everything put together, but somehow there's going to be a shift. There's All the Spirit shift. of God. Holy Spirit of God. Be a so yes. yes. So then the the the, the, uh, the serpent he realized that Eve was by herself. Uh -huh. So you say, you know what? I'm gonna take my time now to do what I gotta do. Yes. Let me whisper something in her ear. Let me let her know that what God said. You know, it, it, it's okay. You can't eat of it. <laughs> Come on now. But she not thinking, but she said to the serpent that God said, don't touch this. Yes. So when God said, don't do a thing, don't do it. When God said, go, you go. Okay, when God said, be still, be still. 
Well, God said, don't worry about nothing. Huh? He means don't worry about it. Because he got this. That's right. Okay. But that scripture in the Yes. That's right. He didn't say don't touch it. Yeah, well, 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 no, because he said don't eat of the fruit. That's, That's right. It. That's it. You got it. Don't eat of it, but I, it's the same, but don't touch the fruit. Don't eat the fruit. If you touch it, you touch it, you don't eat it. <laughs> right now. If I touch the fruit on tree, I'm taking it out. Once I know it's right, I'm taking it. Okay? Yes, ma'am. So my mama, somebody tell me don't touch it. Then I'm not gonna touch it. That's right. If you don't handle it. But you see, curiosity at times will get you. Preach. Okay? So here it is. Uh she listened. And all of a sudden everything she 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 all of a sudden, you know, the, the word says, the serpent says, Oh, you're not gonna die. Okay, see, she was thinking about phys physical death. Yes, ma'am. Okay, but the serpent, you was going to be spiritual death. Amen. And when you were spiritually dead, then you got this. When you're spiritually dead, you lose the anointing of God. You lose what God desires for you. Yes. Yeah. 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 Keep on preaching. Yes, yes, yes. You lose it. Yes. yes. All the spirit of God. Yes. But when, it, when you listen to the voice of God, yes. everything will flow. Everything will fall into place. Holy Spirit of God. So here it is. She listened and then she ate, and all of a sudden her eyes opened up even more. So it was more like her spiritual eyes. Yes. Because her physical eyes were open. But yes. she was in a spiritual, spiritual darkness because that's where the Lord wanted her to be. Yes. Okay, because he wanted her, he wanted us to stay in that presence, stay in, in that, in that, you know, era, the innocent era. Yes, that's what he wanted for us. Praise God, brother. Amen. So here it is. She, um, Holy Spirit of God. So there it is. She listened. And everything changed. Yes. Everything, her eyes just opened. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look around. Oh, my God. I ain't got no clothes on. Oh, my God. Then she, then her husband came over. Well, I, I believe, if I remember correctly, she brought it to him. She brought it she to brought him. She brought it to him. But get, hold on. But pass it. Yes. This is what people don't understand yeah. about that scripture. Yeah. He was sitting right there while he was talking I, to her. I, I, I look at this. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's what I said. She wasn't coming. She wasn't being coming. That's why the punishment comes. Yes. Right, so she brought it over there to her husband. And of course, because that's his wife, yes. he loves her dearly. Yes. He wouldn't think that she would do anything out of the ordinary. He wouldn't think that she would do something that will uh, uh, be uh, detrimental to his yeah. body, whatever it is. So he just took it. Yeah, he no, asked no question. Go. He <laughs> asked no question. Yeah. He ain't asked, honey, where you got this from? Lord said, Yes. He didn't ask none of the questions. He didn't ask none of the questions. He just took it and ate it. Now, now if if you got a specific fruit from something, you're going to ask, like you said, where you got this from? Yes. I never, I, you know, I remember seeing this fruit, but I, I remember yes. that God said, don't eat it. You so go honey, to the pantry honey, and some of that get yeah, Yes. Yes. So why are you touching it? Yes. So I was I wanna put it in my mouth. But you see, they had to be on one accord. Preach. <laughs> Preach. They had to be on one accord. No, no, you got it right. 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 Because they're husband and wife. Because one eye can't be open, the other one still shut. Uh-huh. Go ahead, preach on. Because they're husband and wife. One, oh, one flesh, one flesh. Yes, they are. Yes. So here it is. She brought it to her husband. And things change. The whole things thing changed. changed. Everything changed. Everything shifted. Everything shifted. shifted. You will surely yes. die. Yes. But it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like, like right there you eat it and you drop it. It was a spiritual death. Go ahead, and preach on. Yes, and being, uh, uh, you know, Spiritually dying is not a good thing. It's not good. So here it is now. Uh, uh, there is sin. Sin has now come into the world. Yes. Disobedience yes. came into the world yes. because of that very thing that they did. Yes. You know, and you would want to blame the woman. Oh, yeah, they, 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 they blame the woman all the time. They terrible with it. 
But I'm saying to myself, where was the man when she was Where was he at? He was right there. Where was the man when the, another man was over there talking to her and, and put whispering sweet nothings in the air? Where was he? <laughs> he wasn't coming to her. He worked it. Preach, don't you tell me the truth. He might have been working. No, he wasn't working. So what he was doing? He was doing. 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 Yes, oh, yes, okay, you gotta okay. pay attention. You gotta pay attention. Game go to circus. Yes, so if you, uh, I mean, I had one scripture, but the God shifted another way, so I gotta flow in the spirit. So we, we do it with Genesis 1. Yes, you will put the words in your mouth. Yes, so I try to flow in the spirit to understand. Uh, the purpose and the plan of God. So if we flow in what God says that, you know, and, and just honor God and what he desires us to be, you know, he, I wanted to bring forth Luke chapter 5, when Jesus uh, 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 had disciples, he brought them forth. Yes. And he called disciples come forth and to, to uh, support him because some of these disciples became apostles. Yes. You know, and he is preparing them as people to become fishers of men. Because yes. they were fishers right. of, of fish. Amen. You know, that's in Luke chapter 5. Yes. You know, but then, you know, and, and, and my topic was supposed to be launch out in the deep. 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 Oh, what? Okay. No, launch out in the deep. So, uh, you know. Because they wasn't and, catching and, those and, fish. And, and, yes. <laughs> so when Jesus was, was at uh, in Galilee, and he was um, doing us, uh, speaking to the multitude, and of course, they saw some boats, and he had to go to the boats, because if you don't stay afloat somewhere, everybody will mob him. Everybody yeah, he got Yes. He got pressed, so he yes. had to be in the boat. So, yes, yes. So here it is. They came forth, and uh, you know, they were sitting there, and Jesus was watching them fishing. He was watching them, you know, Sitting there and they ain't got no fish. They ain't got no fish. How you a fisherman ain't got no you fish? You ain't got no fish. You know, and they be toiling on, toiling day and night, and, and the fish don't come because I think the fish sink to the bottom at the daytime, and at night time the, the, the fish come up. So mm -hmm. they been waiting there for a while, and all, all of a sudden night long. Jesus is sitting there in the boat. Uh huh. He's watching. Wait, wait, wait. Them. Yeah. And he just says to them, Yeah. Launch out. Put your net out there uh -huh. into the deep. Yes. So they look at him like, who are you talking to? I mean, we we've fishing. been fishing all night. We've been fishing all night. <laughs> and you can come tell us, come launch out in the deep. Yes. Okay, launch out further than where we normally is. We ain't catching no fish, ah. just, you know. So what that tells me right there, they never understood the power that was sitting in their presence. Yes, they did not. They didn't understand it. They did not. They didn't understand the glory that was sitting in their presence. Uh -huh. They didn't understand. You know, how many times you, you, you are around people and people don't understand who you are. And, and they take advantage of you. They, they don't treat you right because they don't understand. Because they see you there and you may be quiet, okay? And they're not, you know, they, they want to say different you know, things about so you. Not understanding there's an anointing and a power on your life. Yeah. You know? Amen. So, well, thank God. Thank God for the blessing. Thank you. 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 Let's go into it. Let's go to the scripture, Luke chapter 5. What word what, 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 what are you, you using? Luke chapter 5, we're going to do it from 1. I'm saying what version? Uh, uh, NIV. I'm using NLT version. And, uh, I, got so it, I, got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. And uh, we're going to do it from the King James Version, which is fine. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, you don't know anything. Well, you got to go to the index of the Bible. Yes, ma'am. And tell you what This is Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. Gotcha. Well, 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 again. One more time. One more Luke chapter 5, uh -huh. verses 1 to 11. Uh, okay. Luke chapter 5? Yes. Luke chapter 5. 
father's business. Yes. Be about the work of the Lord. You know, because, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from. It's where you end up. Okay? And God could use anybody at any time. So when God uh, uses you and delivers you, you go out there and you preach and you teach the word of God. And you encourage others to flow in the word of God. See, Jesus knew why he, he came, you know, and, and it's so funny. I look at Simon Peter in here in verse 8 when he says Simon Peter realized, and the NLT says, Simon Peter realized what had happened. And he fell to his knees before Jesus when, when they saw all that fish. All them fish. They never saw so much fish in their entire life. The, break, the net okay, was breaking. Okay, the net broke. Yes, my brother. The net broke. They had to bring other people. Come on, come on. Come here. Help. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Now, that's something, though. Yes, that's it something. Is. It is. It is. And then Simon realized that what had happened, he fell to his knees. Yes. Oh. No one had to tell him. Oh, no. Nah, that was it. No. Because he understood the power. Yes. He recognized the power. He recognized the anointing. Yes. Oh, huh. Jesus. Jesus. Get away from me. Jesus. Jesus. I'm a, I'm a yes. sinful man. Yes. He didn't think he was even worthy. Just like God. I don't feel yes. like yes. Worthy yes. Go ahead. And he said, The Lord, leave me. Leave me. Because I'm not worthy to be in your presence. I'm not worthy to be where you are right now. But Jesus said, It's okay. I came that you may have life yes. and have it more abundantly. Do things yes, that's right. You know? And, and it's so funny how I love the way Peter surrendered himself to the Lord. Yes. He surrendered his life, he surrendered his mind, he surrendered his heart to the Lord. And he didn't even ask. No. You said? He didn't even ask. No. No, he didn't. It just came natural. It just came natural. And he said, I'm too much of a sinner to be around you. For he was so, he was astonished, as your, your version said. But in this version, it says he was awestruck by the number of fish. Because he never seen so much in his life. Never. They are caught as were the others with him. Yes. His partners, James and John, the son of Zebedee, were all amazed. They were in astonishment. They could not believe that he could catch so much fish. But you see the power of God? You see the anointing of God? Yes. You see when you have faith, and Matthew 17, 20 says, when you have the faith like a mustard seed, oh. you can move mountains in your life. Yes. That's one of my favorite. Yes. 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 A little bitty seed. What? You yes. can move great mountain in your life. You know, and so here it is, you know, they understood what they had to do. Yeah. You know, and Jesus said, Don't be afraid. He told Simon Peter. Because you know, sometimes when you come to Christ, when you surrender your life to him, you sometimes in you may feel a little fear and wonder, am I doing the right thing? You yes. question yourself. Yes. As to really what am I doing here? And who is the one What's throwing that question in you? Yes. What you say? Who is the one throwing that yes. question yes. at you? Because that's yes. his job. Yes. So yes. 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 You know, that's, that's, so you may, a little yes. Yes. you may be a little timid yes. when you give your heart to the Lord. Amen. You know, Amen. so he was uh, admonishing uh, Simon. He says, don't be afraid. From now on, you will be fishing for people. Amen. Oh, oh Spirit of that's God. The, see, that's, that's, that's oh, my God. Amen. Yes. So the, the catching of the fish was just the impetus, just the, the beginning to let them understand why he was here in their presence. Yes. Oh, Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Yes. And as soon as they landed on shore, Whoa. what did they do? What did they do? Worship. They left. Amen. Amen. So I know God will provide the seat. The, Amen. The yes, 
you know, so I'm, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. You call me the ministry, so I'm going to minister. You know why you know? I hit Peter so hard, though? Yes. Why? Because his brother came to him, you know what I'm saying? Mm. His brother came to him and said, I think he tell you I'll have team on the site. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. And that, he still has some doubt. So now when he's seen that, Mr. Mm, mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so Jesus, Amen. you know, they left everything behind. And yes. So they were given a mandate now, given a mandate to follow him. Yes. A mandate to, to, to flow in what he tells them to do. Uh -huh. You know, and, and, and it's because God needs people yes. to prepare others for the kingdom of God. Yes. He needs people, He needs disciples to bring forth. Oh, God bless you. Praise God. Yes, you do. He, bring, he needs people to come forth. That's all right. Yes, He needs people. Need him. To to be disciples. He don't got. He ain't gonna force himself on. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. no he's gonna send disciples. Yes. He's gonna send teachers. He's yes. gonna send yes. prophets. He's gonna send. Amen. Amen. They preach it with me. <laughs> preach. Yes. So I'm encouraging you today. Yes. Amen. As, as Jesus encouraged, uh, you know, these men as they were fishers. Uh, uh, you know, the fish, they, they were fishermen. But God is, 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 is invoking on you and speaking to your spirit. Yes. That you become fishers of men. That you surrender your life to the Lord. Oh. And let the Lord be your guide. As he told Simon, James, and John. Okay? As they came forth, they became his first disciples. You know? To bring forth the Lord's word on the to share. I call him the big three. Paul was blinded on the way to Damascus. Uh, Paul was blinded yes, Paul. on the way to Damascus. Yes, Paul. There's another one later on. I call him the big three. Now I'm talking, she talking about John. She talking about Peter. Yes. And she talking about Paul. No, no. not Paul. No. Paul, no. Paul had a Pacific other. Paul was a, he used Paul, to no, Paul, Paul had another Pacific other. Paul was people helping me. He had another Paul was killing people. He was going to go. I understand that. But yo, he going to see the Gentile. We talking about Peter was killing Christians. Yeah, that's another story. Yeah, yeah, that's another story. Next week, could that be? Next week, John the Baptist was the one who introduced Jesus. All right, all right, all right. The name of God. Yeah. So you see how you see how God you see you see how God is called y'all. You see Raise up the child you are doing and which way he exactly should go and he'll talk about. And I'm a sinner. But look, you're doing what his word is talking about. There you go. Hey, come on now. That's right. You're launching out of the deep now. Okay, God is bringing change to your life today. All right, so you got it. But you know the scripture. But you need to work. There you go. A lot That's of my problem. Work in you <laughs> That's my problem. To turn your life around. Allow your life to be different. Praise yes. God. Yes. So I'm just thankful to the word for the I'm word so today. I'm so thankful that you out here. And and praise God. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Let's go to Praise God. Thank you so much for all yeah, yeah, I mean, my supporters. I mean, yo, yeah, you, you, you had me in tears just a little while ago. But every time I go to church, I get some tears. Let's go. <laughs> well, that's all right. But Jesus touched you yeah, today. Yeah, that's and if right where you are, lift your hands up. If you desire to accept Jesus in your heart, praise God. Lift your hands up wherever you are. And oh, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. If wherever you are right now, you heard this word and yes. launch out in faith and believe in that. You know, whatever you're dealing with in your life, whatever it is, God is the answer. He is the antidote to whatever situation, whatever it is. Whatever thing you're trying to deal with, what you're dealing with. If you need deliverance and healing for whatever it is you're, 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 you're dealing with in your life, if you want God to help deliver you from cigarettes and smoking, you want God to deliver you from any type of situation. Monkey pops. Whatever it is. Okay, whatever it is. <laughs> God has it. Yes. Because I, you know, I was I was meeting some of y'all yesterday. Some of y'all were saying that you know somebody said to me that I I can I don't have to. I said you know you're consistently smoking. He said, well you gotta die from something sometime. Why do we say that? That's a defeat. Because you done gave up. Yes, That's exactly. That That's is. a defeat. You don't speak like that. See, the, 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 
in the book of Proverbs, it said it's life and death that power your tongue. So you got to be careful what comes out your mouth. You speak be it. Careful what you speak. You speak it in existence. That's what yes. happens. Because in the beginning, right, that's how everything happened. Because he's spoken into existence. Let them be like. Yes. <laughs> okay, so right where you are, thank God for Minister Lauren here. She's going to be praying. Raise your hand right where you are. If you desire to accept Jesus in your heart, you know, and she's going to be praying with you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come around the camera. We're the camera. Praise God. Praise Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Well, you let me do it. Share, share, share the word. Share something. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. As a Apostle Faith just said, Amen. Whatever you're going through, God can deliver you from it. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's depression. It doesn't matter if it's discouragement. It doesn't matter, as she said, it could be smoking or drinking. It could be being a single parent. It could be having lack, not having a job. Amen. Whatever situation it is, loneliness, God can deliver you from it. I like what Apostle said. He's the antidote. Because as you can see, the systems of the world have failed us. The medical system, the science, education, political, everything has failed. Why? Why? Because it's been built on man or built on the demons of this world, the demonic networks. The Bible says that the, the devil is the prince of the power of the air. He's ruling the systems of the world. So if he's ruling the systems, yes. they're, just, they're, gonna, they're designed to fail. Listen to the music of the but day. It's all demonic. We, once we get saved, yes. we are then in the kingdom of God. So now our citizenship is no longer of this world, but it's the kingdom, which is... Misha inherited the earth? Misha inherited the earth, right? Yes, Misha inherited the earth. That's the word, he said. But when you're now saved, you're a part of the kingdom of God, which means now you have a different set of laws. That's right. You have a different constitution. We're not church people, we're kingdom people. Which means that now, when you are living according to his word, Jesus says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So when you're in the kingdom of God, and you're following the laws of the kingdom, I know you've got to follow laws of of this nation. There's laws in every nation. Look at Brittany Griner. There was a law in Russia that you couldn't have cannabis, right? Every nation has a different law. When you follow the laws of that nation, you're safe and sound. When you follow the laws of the kingdom of God, you have protection, amen. You have provision. Yes. Everything you need, God will provide you, yes. amen. Everything you need, he added unto you when you seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. His way of doing right and his way of being right. Not the way the world is saying to be right and do right, right. but the way that God said to be right and do right. And the way he said to be right and do right is right here in the word. Hallelujah. Because right now, the world is trying to muddy up what is right and what's wrong. Amen. They're trying to call wrong right and right wrong. They're trying to get us so confused that we don't know right from wrong. We don't. This is why we have to stay in the word. So we know what's right and what's wrong, what's good versus evil. Amen. And so as, as you are now about to give your lives to Christ, you will now be in the kingdom of God with all the benefits and all the privileges and all the rights of being a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Glory to God. Every need will be met. Protection for you and your family. Read Psalm 91. Glory to God. Every promise in this book will be yours. Yes. Glory to God. This is now your law. This yes. is now your constitution. Good God Almighty. Oh, my God. It doesn't mean we don't follow the, the laws of the world anymore, but it means that we just have greater promises yes. from this law. Yes. And when I say law, I'm not meaning like the Old Testament law. I just mean the way we're supposed to live. Yes. So please, the word of God tells us in Romans chapter 10, if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. Can I, can I, can I, can I back on that? Yes. The boldest statement in the Bible to me was this one. Won't no man see the Father unless he come by me. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. amen. I'm, like, I'm sorry, I got this side. I got this side. It's like that. You're right. 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 You're right.
So, um, as the brother said, Jesus said, no man can come to the Father except by me. Yes. See, people talking about they're going to heaven, they're going to go to the Buddha, they're going to go to the God, they're going to go to Confucius, they're going to go to their mama, their daddy, they're going to get into heaven with their pastor, and their bishop. No, and your pastor and bishop ain't put their back, they got down to you. Only Jesus Christ can get you in. Every knee shall bow. Yes. So, it's just that simple. You believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you speak it with your mouth, you will be saved. Because the Bible says, with the heart, confession is made unto salvation. Amen. This is in Spanish. Amen. It's just that simple. So, all you got to do is believe that God sent Jesus to die for your sins. He died and he rose again and he's going to come back. You believe it. If you believe Believing it and speaking. See, some people might believe it, but they never confess Jesus on their lives. So you can't get in. And some people might speak it, but they don't believe it in their heart. It's just lip service. So the key is you gotta believe it and you gotta speak it. Glory to God. So if you believe it, just repeat after me. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yes, let's raise our hands. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I thank you. I thank you for loving me so much. For loving me so much. That you your son Jesus, that you that sent you your, son your son Jesus, Jesus to, die for me. to die for me. I believe that I, he was crucified. I believe he was crucified. And he rose on the third day. And, he rose and I believe third. he's coming back again. And I believe he's coming and back Jesus, again. And Jesus, I ask you now and Jesus, I ask you to now. come into my I make you my Savior to make you my and Savior. my Lord. And my Lord. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. And use me to now be a difference in other people's lives. And use, use me, me now, now to be a difference, difference in other people's lives. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah. So you can see yeah. all the promises. You have another promise. You have angels assigned to you. Yes. Angelic assistance to protect you. Yeah, you know, I, got, you. I, 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 I started seeing so y'all pointing them back. No, those are y'all. See all the benefits that God has given you. Those are y'all Bibles that they put out there. Now that's your Bible again. Praise God. Praise God. Thank God. Thank you, woman of God, for sharing the word. Hallelujah. Those, uh, salvation, sharing salvation, you know, to the Lord, you know, coming to the Lord, and, and I pray that what was said today, that your heart will be encouraged, your heart will be blessed, and as you leave from this place, never from the presence of God, knowing that whatever situation, whatever need you have, God is there to fulfill the need. And he's asking you today to launch out the deep and to accept him as Lord and Savior of your life. Yes. And you said that prayer today. Yes. Yeah, I seen so something. Prayer. That, I seen something. Yes. That, you you were preaching yes. and the rain was coming down, right? Yes. And I noticed it. Just, and then I, I said, you see, it stop. Peace, yes. be still. Yes. That, that was so great right here. Yes. It was yes. great. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. 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 She said, you see the rain going to come yeah. down? But the picture, no, I'm going to keep going. What? Oh, God. God ain't letting that happen. Peace. So Be still. Yes. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. I can't go back now. I can't go back now. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. I was like, wow, that's something else. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. That you will touch everyone that's here, those who come at God, Lord Jesus. They heard something, Lord God. Something that would quicken their spirit, Jesus. Uh -huh. Holy Spirit of God. Thank you Thank for the you. revelation, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord God, for those who stayed and those who were willing to listen and to understand yes. and to surrender their lives to you. Yes. Just like Peter did when he realized the power that was in front of him.
with him, Lord Jesus, and, and realize the, the anointing and he realized the miracles that came forth, yes. Lord Jesus. And he even became obedient yes. and followed you, Jesus Christ. So, yes. Lord God, we thank you for everybody that's here. We pray yes. that you would, you, you would touch each and every one of them right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for healing right now, God. Yes. We declare and decree healing over everyone that's yes, here Lord. and those who are already left come and go we yes. pray for them in the name of jesus. jesus we pray for the fire of the holy ghost yes. hallelujah yes, come down in the atmosphere today in the name of jesus so yes. jesus as they lie in their bed yes. wherever they make their beds god hey uh. jesus we pray lord god that you will send your angel to visit them, Lord God, yes, wherever Lord. they are, Father. In the name of Jesus, yes. we pray for the power of God to come down in the atmosphere. Yes, Lord. And deliver them, God, and set them free in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, Lord God, because your word said, we shall know the truth, and the truth yes. shall make us free. Yes. Holy Spirit of God, and Lord Jesus Christ, everyone that's here today, Father, they are the sight for you, Jesus. Lord God, share the word with their brothers and sisters about the great things you have done in their oh, lives, yes, Jesus. Lord. Thank you for continuous health, continue for yes, continuous Lord. strength in their lives, dear God. Yes. Holy Spirit of God. And Lord Jesus, we pray you continue to lead us now. in your perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Oh, Thank you for the blessing right now. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. 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 God bless you. God bless, God God bless, bless you. God bless. Hallelujah. Now may the same and grace of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the full flesh of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest made by us all, now and forevermore. Amen. amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You know, it says you had some good days and you had some hills to climb. You know, but I, I'm prayerful that everyone's good days outweigh the bad days. So we can just say thank you, Lord, and keep on moving forward, right? I've had some good days, and I've had hills to climb. I've had some weary days, and some sleepless nights. But when I look around, and think things, think them over, all of my good days, outweigh my bad days, so I won't complain, sometimes those clouds hang low, and I can hardly see the road, I ask the question, Lord, why, why, why so much pain? But God knows, He knows what's best for me. Better than this weary, weary, weary eyes can see. So I'll say, thank you, Lord. Sometimes that's what you have to tell them is, thank you, Lord. And I won't complain and some people will see you going through your trials and your tribulations and they'll say well why won't you complain after all you've been through and your answer should always be god's been he's been good to me he's been very 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 good to me better than this world Today, I just need enough strength to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, if you have anything to be thankful for, you're breathing. Thank you, Lord. You got clothes on your back. Thank you, Lord. Food in your stomach. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I, I won't complain. God bless you. Thank you for staying with us today. 
We invite you to come back again and join Apostle Faith Live on Sundays at 5 p.m. for Bible education and church services, and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. for Feature Wednesdays, where we share messages from other kingdom leaders from within the WAMO network. Are you a kingdom leader with a message of hope and inspiration for the children of God? Send us an email with your message to support at wamo.org or join the WAMO Media Network via our website, wamo.org forward slash network. Are you in need of prayer? Email prayer requests to support at wamo.org or join our prayer line, Monday mornings at 7 a.m. If you need help to overcome low self-worth, heal your marriage, restoration through therapy for children, teens, individuals, and couples, book an appointment for therapy with Dr. Faith at our website, wamo.org forward slash counseling. You may also access self-help resources at our website, wamo.org forward slash resources. If you would like to become a member, volunteer, or partner with WAMO Outreach Ministries, send your email to support at wamo.org. Come as you are. Why you should join this ministry. 1. To empower people for success in the Kingdom of God through Bible education. 2. To provide support services for the upliftment and development of your community. 3. To empower children and youth to increase their knowledge and earning potential by advancing their skills and professional capacity. 4. To provide solutions for families who need shelter, a place for worship, skills development, and access growth opportunities for community leaders. And 5. To provide support and a source of hope for senior citizens, ex-convicts, and people in need. It's easy to support this ministry, here is how you can help. Through tax-deductible giving, easily accessible everywhere via our website, at wamo.org forward slash give. You can give a one-time or monthly donation, or contribute funding to one of our programs. Become a member of our community or volunteer team, apply at our website, at wamo.org forward slash membership. Become a member of our network, and let us work together, to build and grow a strong, healthy community of Kingdom Advocates, empowering people for success in the Kingdom of God. Sign up at our website, wamo.org forward slash network. Other ways to join us and support the ministry. Subscribe on YouTube at WAMO Ministries, Apostle Faith Live. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at WAMO Ministries. You can also subscribe to WAMO Podcast at anchor.fm forward slash WAMO. Contact us anytime at Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries, P.O. Box 2077 Mount Vernon, New York 10551. Telephone, 914-699-2482 and email support at wamo, w-a-m-o-e, dot org. Your support and generosity will positively change lives.